Hello, hello. Welcome to the house of Cyphers. And I am the Cyphers. I want to welcome you back. I wanted to do a really quick check in. Um, I met with uh, the APRN um, for my knee and my hand. And there is some atrophy in my leg. And I already had two issues before this trauma with my hand, my knee, and my foot. The first was I had like um, arthritis in the spine and then I had thoracic outlet, which is a rare condition. And it goes with the nerves coming out. So the outlet is obviously your neck. And there are nerves that come, right? And then they come down into your shoulder. So... These two are by the ulnar. These three are by carpal tunnel. There's three. There's two nerves that control these fingers and they come down your hand. So obviously this nerve would be like the ulnar and then there's two other nerves. So with that being said, um, I probably will have more therapy. I do not feel well. I feel like crap. I have physical therapy in the evening so I have an updated order and um it's just been really tough it's getting cold and I don't really do well in the cold um so I am going to see a hematologist for my sickle cell trait um a hematologist is a physician that studies and um manages blood disorders so I'm gonna do that Um, I really don't feel well, but I wanted to come, especially after my appointment and just do this check-in, um, and just express to you that, you know, I've been on YouTube and I've watched certain people and there are people that have worse conditions. And when I mean worse, like things like cancer, I would say is a lot more severe, um, not to take away from like the things I'm going through, but cancer is a little bit more severe. There are certain illnesses, terminal conditions that are a lot more severe. And I notice that people struggle. Also too, I am in the States. So I also notice that the same issues that we have with our med- our medical care not being properly coordinated, it is not just an issue in the States, it's around the world. So I kind of want to bring awareness to that. Okay, that's the first thing. So I don't feel well. I have taken some of my meds because I didn't want to take all of them because I still need some of my meds for when I go to therapy. So that's the first thing. Uh, The second thing is, is making sure everything's coordinated because I have so many appointments and September hasn't even started yet and I'm already booking appointments well I will well I have an appointment booked in October that's one two is specialty appointments and procedures they're kind of hard to get in so that's why they're booked far out like I have to have an EMG of my knee eventually of my hand again which an EMG is they're going to take a needle it's a nerve conduction study and see how the nerves are responding in for instance, it would be my knee and my leg. I'm so sorry. Um, it is very painful when I move my neck a certain way because I am just, I'm in a lot of pain. I didn't really sleep good last night, but I had to be up early for this appointment, which is really important. So I just want to make sure that I was for my appointment. Second of all, when I'm in a lot of pain, my voice will change. And that's a concern because I've had that happen before. And I really feel like a lot of the symptoms that I have that are in the cold or the winter time, it really has to do with my sickle cell. So I'm going to get on it and connect with a hematologist. I thought I needed a referral because of how insurance works, but let's just see if I can get in because I already have the condition coded to my chart. So there's that. The second thing, my lovely minions, is... I started crocheting this years ago and I kind of want to finish it, but I'm, I don't know if I should do a scarf, like an infinity scarf, or I should do like a little mini blanket, but I'm on the blue side now. And as you can tell, I'm crocheting. Um, 
I learned to crochet when I was 16 in a hospital setting. Um, it was like outpatient therapy and I learned this skill. I want to learn how to knit. So, um, that's like my next goal for being autodidactic. I could do granny squares. I said, why didn't I do granny squares and then put them all together? That, that would have probably been smart, but I don't know why. I know how to do granny squares. Like, and I'm looking at like a crochet blanket right now and I'm like, I know how to do granny squares. I don't know why I don't do them. Um, but I would like to learn new patterns and designs and things like that. So I'm trying to work on that. I have my other, I have a other project, which is the Astute Sage. You can go there. You can type it in. Um, I have a website, theastutesage.com. And you can reach me at theastutesage at gmail.com. And I talk about a lot of um, esoterics or a lot of things that are hidden in our society. And so I wanted to share that with you. All right, so my little minions, I hope you ate today. I hope you take care of yourself today. Um, always push yourself forward um, and know that you are not alone. We are in a society where social media, I can come on this screen and I can talk about me all day, but the whole point is for me to build a community and to connect with other people who might have similar experiences or who are similar minded or who respect where I'm coming from. And we just can't get kind of lost in the sauce with that. So take care of yourself. Show yourself love. If it's nice outside, go outside, go for a walk. Um, if you're dealing with a tough time, take it one hour, well, one minute, one hour, one day at a time. You can, That's all you can do. Um, and I'm saying this because I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing it where I, I'm easily overwhelmed because I'm one person. I can only do so much. And I feel like the demand that is on me, I can't do it all and neither can you. So you have to literally accept that, that you cannot do it all. However, I hope that this brings you some type of solace in whatever you're going through. Okay. So this is my lovely check-in. I'm sorry. I'm not my happy go lucky self, but I am my real self. And that is the one thing I will always promise you is to be as real as possible. I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat. I'm not going to sit here and fabricate. I don't even have time to fabricate shit. All I have time to come with is the truth. So with that being said, enjoy your day eat some ice cream, have a drink for me, eat something good. You know what I'm saying? Eat, eat something that just uplifts your soul. And please like, share, and subscribe and support me. Okay. I'd appreciate it. Until next time, my little minions. Ta-da. <laughs>